Hey, this is Vinny from Less Than Jake. Hey, Roger from Less Than Jake. What's going on? And so, Vinny here is going to do some flashing back. I'm going to start with this. We toured with Bon Jovi. And I'm not saying, like, there was Less Than Jake and then a slew of other bands and then Bon Jovi. I'm no, saying no, no. that we toured with Bon Jovi. It was us and then Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi comes in. We're going to take a picture with him because the guy from Kerrang! was there. Here comes John Bon Jovi. He's he, in, he looks perfect, by the way. Yeah. Looks amazing. It's where I'm getting at. He smelled like, Bon Jovi smelled like toasted marshmallows. His hair was silky. His skin was perfect. John Bon Jovi was better looking than 98% of the girlfriends that I've ever had in my entire life. And this is not a joke right now. So here's the thing. He looked tight. He did. At most of the girlfriends that you'll ever have in your life, he's better looking than. Here's the uncensored John Bon Jovi story. He says, hey guys, what's up? I heard that you were playing like these other shows like in between the days off we're like yeah it's like that's respectable you know you 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 guys really working hard and mind you he's talking to us right here while and a very uh opaque uh shower door of our trombone player pete taking a shower right behind him so it was somewhat distracting and he says so I was on stage last night, and I was thinking to myself, Less Than Jake must have all the fine pussy backstage because I'm out here playing to all the fat chicks. Now, let's swing this back around. Not only is this, like, better looking than most women guy, he's sitting there telling us that we must have better looking women backstage with us who are f basically fucking trolls, right, compared to him. Also said that he was flashing that while he was singing on stage, which is a mind blower, right? <laughs> he thought about our band while he was on stage. But, but here's That's the weird. thing, right? He said the word pussy. And when he said it, he's so squeaky clean and so like sort of wholesome that when he said the P word, it was like almost like my grandma saying it to me. It was completely bizarre, awesome tour story. There you go. Don't quote him, I'm quoting him on saying that though. Yeah. Quote, unquote, quoting Raj, who's quoting me. We played Reading Festival. We had a, had a huge mass of people. We're talking like 40, 50,000 people jumping with us while we're playing Games of Rock City. And, I mean, that was it, man. That was the top of the ladder, you know? That's, that's, it was awesome. That's a toy story. Yeah. <laughs> tour story right there. Some people can go like, oh, yeah, I did this, and I did this, and I did this. First of all, Reading Festival in the UK, that's already like, you've... you've hit that stride and it's an awesome thing to be there but while playing on stage and having 90,000 people in front of you but half that crowd together it's indescribable and, and, and an amazing moment in less than Jake history a sidebar real quick <laughs> Lemmy came uh, oh, yeah. to visit the studio he, he had a, a large uh, plastic red glass that we bought him Maker's Mark as a gift he opened the Maker's Mark up and he proceeded to pour about 80% of the weight up that red glass, and then just nonchalantly a splash of Coke in there. Like, what's the splash of Coke gonna even do at it's that a little, point? It's a little bite, a little but, flavor. But think about it for a second. No, I hear you. That much Maker's Mark and then a splash of Coke. He, he drank it all. He drank all of it and then drank the rest of the bottle. It was one of the coolest dudes too on top of that. Like, really down to earth, told a bunch of cool stories, kicked it with us. But he drank a bottle of a bottle of Maker's Mark, hour and a half. Shocked by that. Let me rules. Much love. Much respect. Cheers to Motorhead. Yeah. Thank you very much.